Hi, this is Cousin Russ. Um, I have, uh, I've talked about information overload before, and uh, I use that, especially uh, when I'm looking to do a series of records by record group, and I do that uh, quite frequently. And I've just added another tool to my research um, scheme, toolbox, and that is um, I'm going to talk about a f special file that I created, f look, just looking at five generations. Now, I did this specifically because of some DNA results uh, where I am making connection to my great-grandfather's descendants. Uh, so that would make it the five-generation tree for me. But I needed to figure out a way to manage those trees. Now, I have this tree online. And when I go to the hints, I, I have 700 and 773 hints on Ancestry. I can't manage that. I can't deal with that. Um, that's not to say the records aren't good. In fact, the hints are very good. But I want to focus on the descendants of my great grandfather. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, and I'm going to go over to Family Tree Maker. And there is Family Tree Maker in the plan workspace. And I just happen to have up the screen that has all of my Family Tree Maker hints uh, on the display. And I'm going to the people workspace, and uh, I've got 603 people in the specific file. But I don't want to deal with all of them. I want to be focused on my great-grandfather. So I'm going to use the filter uh, feature of Family Tree Maker, and I'm going to go down to my great-grandfather and... I am selecting him and his descendants. So there's 132 descendants for him. And they are now listed here. And let me go to him. And you will see that Samuel has, and his wife, have 10 children. Of the 10 children, uh, seven of them have descendants. There's th uh, two that died very young and, and one uh, cousin who, who never married. So I want to focus on those seven descendants uh, and, their, and their descendants. So I have created, uh, and let me bring this up, I have created an Excel spreadsheet and here it is I have a, an Excel spreadsheet where I exported the file from Family Tree Maker with the name and the person ID number that's very important to me and then what I did was <coughs> figured out which descendant which of the seven children this person belonged to, and I want to. I'm going to select the first female, which is Elizabeth. So she has nine children. There's a little number down there at the bottom of the screen, which you probably can't see, which it says nine. So there's nine children that uh, of hers, of which. Uh, I want to show you what I have done with them. And let me go back over to Family Tree Maker in a second. And uh, I'm going to bring Family Tree Maker up again. And I'm going to go back to filter. But this time I'm going to filter on Elizabeth, which is the oldest uh, female. Uh, I'm sorry, she's the alphabetically, she's the child that I want to display to focus on, uh, and there's something wrong with that number. Let me just bring this up, descendants of nine. So you see that I have nine in uh, Family Tree Maker, 
and I have nine in Excel. Now what I do in Family Tree Maker is I will select the person and I see that there's a shaky leaf and it says one. And the next one has eight. The next one has 14 and so on. And the last couple do not have any hints. Now that is reflected in Excel. Now, just so that I don't get confused, I'm going to ex exclude anybody who has no shaky leaf. So now I am down to uh, five people with hints for her, her descendants, and I can work on them. I have a total of, you know, the 700 that, that I showed you in Ancestry Member Tree. I'm down to 55 hints of descendants of Samuel that are direct line descendants that I can work off of them. I can deal with uh, uh, 55. Now, you'll, you'll, make, you'll see some two notices up here. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right screen. Yes, I am. Uh, I have uh, five uh, people who have hints for the Sons of American Revolution application. I, I'm not going to work on them for a while, but I know who has them. They're in my to-do list. Uh, and there's five records that I want to hold because I'm not quite sure whether that's the right person. Again, it's in my to-do list, but I'm not going to deal with this one at the moment. So as a matter of fact, I can exclude the one. And now I'm down to four people who I can now follow their hints. So I, I, I don't know whether that will work for anybody. I spent a little time generating that Excel spreadsheet, but I can sit here for an hour or so and work on those hints uh, for those people uh, that I just showed you. There's only four people and it happens to be a family. And this allows me to uh, use the fan club. In other words, I'm going to be not only looking at the five generations, but I'm also going to look and focus on people with shaky leaf hints in the fan club. They, they are related. Uh, uh, let me go back to Excel and show you that you can't see that they're related, but they all have the same surname. So they are in fact related. And so I now can do some research by, uh, uh, by the fan club. And the chances are what's going to happen is if I work one of these shaky leaf hints for one of them, another one will go away because it may be a, a census record. So, um, for whatever, whatever that's worth, I thought I would share that with you. And uh, you can go from there. And if you have any other questions, just leave comments uh, on my blog. Thank you very much and have a great day.